Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Tuesday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Fallier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 20 through 24. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. All glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, Will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, in today's gospel reading, according to St. Matthew, Jesus complains to those who close their minds to God's word. John the Baptist led the life of an ascetic in the wilderness, and they didn't listen to him. Jesus he socialized freely with all kinds of people, especially sinners, and they accused him of being a glutton and a drunkard. So in today's passage, which follows directly after what we just spoke of, Jesus warns three towns where he spent much of his time, Chorazin, Bethsaida, and especially Capernaum, if Jesus had done in those pagan towns of Tyre and Sidon what he had down in these predominantly Israelite towns, they would have converted long ago. Even Sodom, the biblical image of the very worst in immorality, would have done better. It's important for all of us to realize that in today's gospel, Jesus is primarily speaking to all of us today. If many non-Christians had been given the opportunities that we, some cradle Catholics and born Christians, have received through our baptism and membership in the Christian community, they could very well be living much more generously and holier than we do. To what extent are we listening to God's word every day? How much of it do we try to understand every day? And how much of it is reflected in our lifestyle every day? And are we clearly and obviously followers of Christ and his way? 
every day. <laughs> Something for all of us to ponder. After our closing prayer, we read the scrap scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him in friendship, something he dearly desires. Let us complete a divine reading with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Governed by your Holy Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those who contemplate and embrace your divine word, that professing you, not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and help support our channel. And also share these links. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina. Pax et bonum. Peace and blessings.